Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session we will talk about the very interesting point uh, that is about the dark side of leadership right destructive leadership so is it also possible that is a leader is destructive so yes uh, there are the certain practices uh, which will be uh, classifying them on the dark side of leadership uh, we will talk about and uh, understand first what is the destructive leadership is there uh, destructive leadership in different uh, domains, uh, toxic uh, triangle about the destructive leaders, suspectable followers and conducive environment. Now, um, so far we have understood in the leadership is there are three factors, leaders, followers and environment, right. So, when we talk about the destructive leadership, then in that case there are suspectable followers also what are those followers and uh, how they are getting classified into this particular class that we will discuss in detail. Preparing against the destructive leadership, uh, toxic to transformative triangle and the then as usual we will be talking about the research papers, case study and the book recommendations. Uh, so, um, first we have to understand destructive leadership because you see many times uh, uh, whenever we argue with the leadership many people are giving the examples of such uh, leaders and they say is this leadership because they are doing the harm to the society and if they are doing the uh, harm to the society but they are they are able to influence the followers and if they are in able to influence the followers then theoretically we will say they are leaders but then what type of leaders they are so they are the destructive leaders right with individuals who are effective at building teams and getting results through others so here also you have to keep in mind they they, they are very effective right so therefore they also create the teams uh, so far we have discussed about the leaders leaders are having the followers followers are having the teams and then team is led by the leader and goal has been achieved so therefore they are getting the results also so, then the leadership process is uh, uh, complete, but who obtain results that are morally or ethically challenged. So, dear friends, here is the goal is very, very important. If somebody thinks that is the by destructive leadership, he is able to occupy the position in the organization, right, and therefore, he thinks that is I am very much influential and therefore, uh, I, I, I am a successful leader, but that is not right. In what context it is not right that we will see, it is not the question of the morally or ethically challenge, right. So, somebody may say I do not, I do not bother, I do not bother about the moral, right. So, then in that case what will be there, then uh, how that leadership can be stopped. So, or undermine the organizational or community success. So, therefore, in that leadership, no, it is a such an addiction, uh, destructive leadership is also an addiction that they do not bother about the organizational or community success also. For example, the Hitler is there and you know about all, all this about the Hitler. Only 8 percent of the fortune 1000 executive directors rate their leadership capacity as excellent, while 47 rated their leadership capacity as fair to poor is there. So, therefore, in that case you will find that is only 8 percent of in the fortune 1000 only 8 percent and they have talked about that is yes our leadership is excellent right, but 47 percent they have rated themselves from the uh, fair to poor category and therefore, we can understand that is the if this is the situation then uh, how we will be having this particular uh, concept uh, uh, of the effective leadership and leadership into the organization and it is uh, uh, very good no it, it is excellent is only 8 percent is there. Now, whenever 
uh, we want to understand the exactly the theoretical definition or concept of the destructive leadership. It is the process of influence between the flawed, toxic or the ineffective leaders, right? And therefore, they, they are the flawed, right? So, that the flawed and toxic are there, right? So, it, it is making the difference. So, the when, the when we are talking about that is the what is the goal. So, then we will call it is a flaw, flaw style of leadership is there. Susceptible followers and conducive environments, which unfolds over time and an unbalance. Culminates in destructive group are the organizational outcomes that comprise the quality of life for internal and external constituents. And therefore, in, it, it is becoming very, very important that is the whatever we are talking about the quality of life, right. And every, every time mm, we, we talk about work life balance, we talk about the quality of work life, we talk about the quality of life. Huh? Nowadays, we are we want work life enrichment is to be there, and therefore, it is the external and internal constituents and detract from their group focus goals or purposes are there, right. So, therefore, you will find that is the it is it is not the uh, the uh, right strategy to adopt uh, uh, this type of the leadership. Another uh, definition is given is a process in which over a longer period of time the activities, experiences and or relationships of an individual or the members of a group are repeatedly influenced by their supervisor definitely in a way that is perceived as hostile and or the obstructive is there right so uh, it is also very important time period what is the time period is there and in the time period if, if that particular relationship of an individual of the members right then if it is the repeatedly influence hmm, then you will find that is the these uh, followers they are becoming the hostile and the obstructive is there some of the leaders are among the most infamous in history and uh, include the Alexander the Great, right? Uh, then Genghis Khan, Saddam Hussein, Napoleon Bonaparte, um, Adolf Hitler and the Joseph Stalin is there. And uh, no one could argue about uh, wh whether these individuals had a major impact on their countries and societies. So, uh, they have been the leaders, but their collective influence killed uh, hundreds of millions of the innocent people is there. And therefore, in that case we will find that is becoming the destructive leaders is there. Uh, in the case of these uh, military settings, the Moscow, uh, Mainly, uh, Serbia, Bosnia, uh, Croatia, Rwanda, Darfur and Syria show that destructive leadership also occurs in military setting. In the spirit of the seeking revenge or ethnic cleansing, military commanders will rally their troops to kill everyone in particular villages and the towns even those who are not military com uh, uh, combatants, right. Uh, like here in India, when we are talking about the Jaliawala Bakan, right, so we, which was the, uh, the mask. Uh, so, therefore, in that case, uh, in General Dyer, who ordered the Jalewale uh, uh, the mask of April 13, 1999, was a destructive leader in the British Army during British Raj before the independence is there. So, therefore, uh, uh, in that case, the, uh, the following, the order of the leader, right. So, then the leader says it is the, it, it is the influential. Uh, because there is a, uh, but what is the goal or objective that is becoming very, very important. So, we are having the district religions in these uh, leadership in different domains like the religions are there hmm? uh, and uh, to highly charismatic religious leaders who develop the uh, cult like followings and lead their adherents to commit suicide, right. Finance recession of 2008 to 2010 can be partially attributed to a number of destructive leaders in the financial service industries. Many greedy bank and insurance executives did a good job of building teams and generating profits, but the profits were gained by the cooking the books, selling financial products that were doomed to fail, right. So, if this type of the practices are there by these industries uh, financial practices, then definitely we will classify that is this type of uh, the leadership is will be the destructive leadership. 
the problem was so widespread that it almost caused the collapse of the entire global economy <laughs> and therefore, uh, these leaders financial problems you see uh, that is the it, it has it is created a such an impact that is uh, it has collapsed the uh, entire global economy was there. You can see that is how the destructive leadership can even uh, influence uh, so highly. Organizations, uh, destructive leaderships can occur at a variety of levels in organizations. Sometimes the first line supervisors, middle level managers and executives who do disagree with company policies and strategies will motivate their followers to pursue course of action that are not aligned with the organizational interest even. So, even then case then when then it is not uh, related to the organizational interest uh, uh, then definitely those policies and strategies uh, uh, that, that which have been motivated and many times we see the closure of the organizations. Why the closure of the organization? That is that they could not run the organization uh, uh, properly and the decisions uh, were have been found wrong and uh, uh, so therefore, in that case we will say it is a destructive leaders. These actions and their subsequent results often lead to poor customer service, hmm, duplicate efforts, uh, high levels of the team conflict and the ultimately that is the suboptimal financial performance is there and this, these outcomes are uh, uh, expected. What will happen when the leader is in such an destructive position? So, who will care, take care of the customers? Nobody will take care of the customers. Right? There will be the high level of the team efforts uh, will be uh, and the ultimately the suboptimal financial performance will be there. Right? So, team conflicts will be there. Hmm? So, if high level of the team conflicts will be there, uh, then the uh, and if, if the performance is high level of performance into destructive style, uh, then definitely ultimately and that is the financial performance has to go down and when uh, it will be uh, financial performance will go down then organization is survival will be in the question. Although these leaders and followers may believe they are doing the right thing, their actions harm their organizations. Now, here we have to focus on this particular point. So, question arises in destructive leadership the intention, in, intention is there or intention is not there, that is very subjective. But the ultimately goal because what is the leadership when, when we talk about that collective efforts uh, uh, to achieve the uh, goal of the organization. But the ultimately the that result is not the achievement of the goal rather than to harm the organization. And therefore, this destructive leadership style uh, in this uh, uh, different domain whether it is the intentional or not intentional ultimately results will be uh, that is very negative. Uh, now, a beautiful concept uh, to understand this uh, destructive leadership is the to uh, toxic triangle. Hmm? So, here destructive leaders are there, so uh, they are charismatic, right. So, in acting in their own self interest. So, destructive leaders are those, those who are uh, acting in the self interest and not in the interest of the organization. So, they, they but they are charismatic need of power. So, they are in highly need of power and for the uh, remaining in the power they, they go for this type of the destructive practices. Narcissism is there, negative life theme is there and ideology is this to destruct. Right. Susceptible followers are the confirmers and the colluders. Confirmers are the unmet needs. Right. So, therefore, in that case whatever is uh, their need was there, they are not able to gain that uh, fulfillment of that need. Uh, low self evaluation, why they are not involved into the positive act? Because they are, they, they are having the low self uh, evaluation, self evaluation is very low. So, I will be uh, important to the organization if I will create the problem to the organization and that is the philosophy of the, the susceptible followers are there. So, the susceptible followers they will create uh, be they are highlighted in the organization right people are scared from them. 
But why they behave like this? Because they are having this so low self evaluation. They are not becoming the leader by performance as a role model and doing something good in the organization. Then the low maturity is there. So, that under, their understanding itself it is a questionable. This type of these uh, followers mm, they are immature they are not able to understand that is the uh, what what uh, will be the uh, consequence of their act and we were in overall organization and ultimately it uh, the uh, organization society nation all will suffer right whatever position they are but because of their low maturity and low self evaluation uh, they, they they are not performing they are involved into the negative act so, colluders are the ambition, highly ambitious about self, similar world view is there. So, therefore, in that case they, they join with that particular view and the bad value systems are there and as a result of which uh, they are becoming the susceptible followers. The third in the leadership uh, third uh, element or the dimension is that is the conducive environments. Conducive environment is the context that promote the toxic leadership. Right. So, uh, instability, if the organization is having the instability and they are not able to perform uh, uh, consistency in their growth, so there will be instability will be there and as a result of which uh, they are not able to perform. Perceived the threat uh, that is maybe the social or environmental factors are there and on basis of this they will be having this uh, perceived the threats are there. Then the cultural values are there, what, what actually in fact uh, whenever we are talking about these bad values, uh, bad values of the susceptible followers which will be creating the organization culture. If this type of the followers are more no, so what will be the value system in that organization? In organization system that culture will be developed not to work, create the damage to the organization or the negative decisions or the self interest decisions. So, this will be the cultural values, lack of checks and balances. So, therefore, in that case uh, they will be uh, no control, organization is not having the control over uh, this uh, uh, the uh, followers and the uh, in the organization process, there is not a proper uh, checks and balances are there. So, as a result we, what will happen an ineffective institution will be developed. So, these points are discussed in the details uh, that is uh, whenever I when I was talking about no, they are charismatic right. So, then are outgoing and charismatic are there, they are engaging the personalities uh, and that is also they have that much of influence dear friends that is they are able to influence those personalities. So, that those followers uh, they join them right and they are socially skilled. Uh, this is also very interesting, people voluntarily join them and that is why they are part of the leaders, it is not forcefully and they advocate the popular ideologies and uh, what type of uh, talk they will have or the uh, speech they will have which will be more acceptable. So, therefore, they advocate the popular ideologies, uh, popular ideologies are there, people accept that, but why they do so for the need of power they are highly ambitious position of power and demonstrate focus energy and stamina towards goal and therefore, you see their stamina is very high, energy level is very high and therefore, they move towards the goal. This is also the influential that is why they are leaders right. Unfortunately, they are destructive leaders, but what is required to be leader and focus is required, goal is required, energetic is required, stamina is required. So, these leaders are also having all these uh, the focus energy and stamina, have inflated the views of self importance. So, people uh, they take, him, take them uh, as a leader, process tremendous self esteem and self efficacy. There is no one like me on this earth and therefore, that is the tremendous self esteem is there, liking for self is too much that is I am different from all nobody is here in this organization like me and if I will leave the organization, this organization has to go to dogs. 
So, therefore, that much of self esteem and self efficacy is there. Ignore inputs from others. So, autocratic, autocratic style is there, not to listen to others, no suggestions, the, uh, whatever they think, they think it is okay. Negative life themes are there. Experience significant challenges, traumatic events in formative periods. This is also is the uh, most of the leaders are having uh, either their childhood or their young age of this destructive leader that has become the very, very challenging and struggle for. And as a result of which uh, uh, they develop the value system to hate others, and then they uh, they will be creating the chaos in the society. We were narrative of overcoming the hardship or long odds are there. Hmm? So therefore, uh, uh, why they are so much appreciated? Because they have come with the very much hardship in life. And long odds uh, situations are where they are, they, they struggle with that, they win over those situations and now they are into the positions. The ideology of hate have inflated views of the self-importance, process tremendous self-esteem and self-efficacy and ig ignore the uh, input from others. Right. Uh, so, uh, this uh, ideology is uh, there. So, these are point number 3 and point number 5 the sub, uh, sub uh, factors are same, uh, but basically uh, it is it both are having that is the ideology of hate is there and therefore, in that case uh, uh, they, they are becoming the destructive leaders. Now, when we talk about the followers, confirmers uh, um, that passively permit the destructive leadership, uh, uh, unmet needs uh, and the poor self evaluation and immaturity is there. And therefore, uh, this type of these uh, uh, the people, the, those are internally less confident, they are going as a confirmers. Co-leaders are there, uh, actually assist destructive leadership, that is a personal ambitions, the congruent values are belief are there and the unsolicited values they are having. Now, this conducive environments. Now, now we have given the example in the pre, uh, previous slides about uh, that is a financial leadership, uh, destructive leadership is there. When economic recession was there, so many banks and financial institutions they have created uh, the problems. So, that is because of the instability, because it, it was uh, economic recession, and in that economic recession there was instability. So, that periods of change are uncertainty. So, they got the opportunity, destructive leaders, to make the harm to the nation and need for the quick decisive action was there. And that time because of instability, so quick decisions are required. So, every decision is not well uh, vetted, right. And as a result of which uh, uh, immediately decisions are taken, so there will this type of this uh, uh, environment is there. So, many time uh, that leads into the destructive uh, outcome. They perceive the threat, external threats, right, especially the competitors and survival. Common enemies are there, and therefore, those who are the uh, market shareholders of their business, they become common enemies. And there is a need for protection, is there. And therefore, because of this instability, environment is not supporting, uh, there are the threats are there, so they need the protection for this from this environment. They are the absence of checks and balances, emerging organizations are there and the poor institutional oversight is there and organization is as not having the long term vision, right. And as a result of which uh, uh, there is no checks and balances. The collectivist cultures is there, those who are the followers uh, here when we talk about the types of followers, then the types of followers are the uh, those followers those who are susceptible. And then the high power uh, uh, distance is there, right, in the organization. So, in spite of the short structure and horizontal structure, uh, the organizations are having the high power distance is there. So, that, that is creating the tall structure in the organization. So, there is a need for stability and security is there in the organization. And uh, as we have seen, these are all outcomes of the instability in the previous slide. So, there is a need for the stability is there. So, district leadership is associated with the various negative outcomes, uh, follower resistance will be there, view of the leaders, 
uh, negative view of the job decrease motivation dedication and satisfaction a negative view of the individual followers stress well being and performance is there right so therefore the these followers will be under the stress right and uh, uh, these uh, uh, the uh, decrease motivation right so therefore in that case dedication and the satisfaction decrease will, it will be decreased negative of the organization is turnover and the counterproductive work behavior is there and therefore in that case it is becoming the uh, towards the uh, more non performers rather than the performers so uh, how in this uh, uh, at some point you may benefit from preparing for this challenge to do you may want to so therefore how to prepare against the destructive leadership so increase your awareness leadership assessments performance appraisals are generally uh, em employees a satisfaction right and the survey may be helpful to flag leaders that could become destructive leaders so in the beginning itself you see uh, whenever there are these uh, this type of these uh, 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 decisions are going on and the leader leader of the leader for these uh, neg uh, destructive leadership is there so immediately there should be in the organization there should be checks and balances there should be the counterparts so that they can identify and they can flag the leaders identify the leaders flag the leaders that could become the destructive leaders that is if this type of the officers this type of the section heads this type of the supervisors if uh, they have been allowed to grow so one day they will take the key position in the organization as a destructive leader so have a plan a clear response to research leadership when it is identified focusing not only on the leader but also supporting employees as suggested it is also very 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 beautiful point is there here so it is not that that is when you observe that is a particular person is uh, negatively working in the organization so don't focus only on that particular leader right but also focus on those employees those who are suggest uh, supporting this type of the leader is there right so then only you will be able to break that chain know thyself leaders should consider how their behavior and tactics may affect staff in addition leadership teams may benefit from discussion of acceptable and unacceptable behavior what type of behavior are you willing to tolerate amongst colleagues at the leadership level so many time what happens no that is the whenever we say that is the always those who are tolerating this type of their behavior they are also more responsible in the organization to promote this type of district leadership is this a type of behavior you would like imitate throughout the organization if yes then that is not destructive but if it is no that is a sign of the district leadership so consider your context addressing the behavior of the district leader is just a start consider the aspects of your organization environment or culture that may enable or allow district leadership to take care place as suggested in the models right as we have discussed above now toxic to transformative triangle is there so whenever we are talking about the susceptible followers district leaders and conducive environment that is a toxic triangle to the transformative triangle right how we can uh, take out uh, this particular problem and uh, uh, our organization becomes the uh, a, a constructive organization so positive environment right so therefore in spite of the conducive environment there will be positive environment will be there and value based leadership value based leadership is required so that is in spite of the susceptible followers you will have the capable followers with you that the three elements of toxic triangle can be deliberately converted to transformative triangle which would lead to a constructive leadership rather than the destructive leadership is there so in spite of the destructive leaders constructive leaders are required in spite of the susceptible uh, followers value based uh, capable followers are required and in spite of the uh, destructive leaders that is the uh, value based leadership is required so then in that case we will have that uh, transformative triangle how to create that positive environment empower the people transformational and transactional balance is required diplomacy this type of this positive environment respectful and candid forum and the active listening is required value based leadership will be character by the leader itself uh, reasonable and restrained standard based approach uh, superordinate thoughts and actions 
so that the vision is created, uh, selfless intent and the close match between the espoused and enacted values are there. Capable followers are there that is the uh, upstanders, uh, lower level leadership, uh, then the penchant for the, pro the proper descent, unity of efforts and equal loyalty to mission, leadership and organization. When we will be following this type of this, uh, uh, these uh, transformative triangle, then definitely we can come out from the destructive leadership to the transformative leadership is there and the triangle will be there. These are the research papers as usual, uh, which is the advice destructive leadership behavior, a definition in the conceptual model, right? And to propose a definition of destructive leadership behavior, in this paper also it has been given. Huh? within his research field and to propose a conceptual model of leadership behavior that incorporates the notion that a district leader may simultaneously show both destructive and constructive behavior also. This is also possible interestingly that is the leader may show the both destructive and constructive is there. Uh, ultimately what we understand that is the, there should be a continuous observation observations in the organization whatever decisions are taken by the leader and from the junior level uh, to the top level and therefore we can in journey from the in entering into the organization reaching to the ceo position or the leadership position uh, that journey has to be observed systematically and if it is destructive it should be stopped there only so, uh, by extending the two dimensions to include destructive behavior, authors propose a model that captures both constructive and destructive leadership is there. So, anti-subordinate behavior is there and pro-subordinate behavior is there. So, pro-subordinate behavior and a pro-organizational behavior is there. So, then it will be the constructive leadership is there. When the pro-organizational behavior is there, but anti-subordinate behavior is there, then that uh, we will say uh, tyrannical uh, leadership is there. When the anti-organizational behavior is there, and anti-subordinate behavior is also there that is a derailed leadership. When anti-organizational leadership is there, behavior is there, but the pro-subordinate behavior is there, supportive disloyal leadership is there, right. So, you are supporting the your uh, subordinates, but against the organization. So, disloyal will be there. So, you, by this study we can go and uh, this is the case study of the story of Vijay Malaya, right, a multinational conglomerate of over 60 companies. Uh, lifestyle and his popular term is called the king of the good times, uh, launched Kingfisher and then airline had acquired entire 46 percent of division, right. And the, um, the then, but we find that is uh, as a non-performing assets, Kingfisher has been for non-performing asset in the business and unlike his other two major businesses, the spirits and the BS segments which were running smoothly under the managing directors, airlines had no long term CEO, right. So, therefore, in, in this case uh, we will find that is the failure of the organization because of the, uh, uh, the destructive style of the leadership practices by the leader is there. So, uh, and dysfunctional organization and the therapeutic approach uh, destructive leaders and the dysfunctional organizations. Uh, then the, this is a book which talk about uh, these particular uh, uh, the concepts and the practices by the many leaders. And for your further studies, these are the references. Thank you.